Welcome to another episode of the Firepreneurs Podcast. Today we are going to jam on in our Firepreneurs 101 series. We're talking about supplies and equipment. Unlike materials, which is in our COGS, and you may word this differently in your profit loss statement, in ours we call it materials in the COGS, and we call it supplies and equipment down here in the operating expenses. Um, what are examples of supplies and equipment? Again, I run a junk removal business, so for us, um, we're going to put things in there like your sawzall blades. If you have to buy some tools that you need, you know, something to, you know, some wrenches or some um, screwdrivers, like little hand tools that you're going to need. If you're buying a sawzall, that would go with supplies and equipment. If you are buying a generator, even though it's a bigger purchase, um, it's still something that would go in your supplies and equipment and probably get expensed. It's not necessarily something you're going to put on your asset summary to get depreciated. You may put it on your asset summary as an asset that you own, but it's not something that's going to get put up there and depreciated. It's going to be expensed, and this is the category that we would put it in. So these examples of tools that you would buy, um, other things that aren't necessarily tools that you would put in here, this could be your tarps, this could be your forearm straps, your shoulder straps that you use to move heavy things. Um, now, a question would become like, and we had this conversation in our own company, is like, all right, I got it. These are the things I put in there for supplies and equipment that go in operating expenses. If you remember our previous conversations, is it a need and required to have, or is it a nice to have? If it's a nice to have that makes the business run more efficiently, then those things are going to go into your supplies and equipment. If it's a need slash required to have, it's going to go into your materials because those things are required to do the service. A lot of things that we have in the junk removal industry, or for maybe if you're in exterior cleaning or carpet cleaning, a lot of the things that we end up buying are nice to haves. Like they improve the level of service. They make the service more efficient for your team members, but they're still a nice to have. And that's why I put them in your operating expenses, which would be supplies and equipment. Uh, good conversation on this would be like, okay, what do I do if it's with gloves, junk removal? You're, you're handling sharp metal. You're handling a lot of broken wood. You know, whatever the case, you know, gloves are, are critical to safe operation. So at a certain point in the business, I would put this in supplies and equipment because it was a nice to have. But we actually now put it in materials because we make it a requirement. And so as the business has grown, we buy the gloves for the team members. We buy them in bulk. We issue them. We issue a certain amount each week. Um, team members have them. And now that we've made it a require required item or requirement to use in the service, it is now moved into our materials cost, which is in our cost, because now it's part of our cost of delivering the service because our team members are required to wear gloves. Um, if it was something that we encouraged them to use gloves, like, hey, you guys should use gloves. If you want gloves, we buy these kinds of gloves. You can or can't use them. If it was like encouraged, that would probably go into supplies and equipment, right? But now it's a requirement. We, every person has to wear gloves every day. Um, mistakes made here, guys getting their hands cut because they didn't wear them. You know, just 10 years of foolish choices on our part. We had to learn and fail forward. Um, but now it's a requirement. We buy them as a company. We require the teams to wear them. They go in our cogs and materials. They don't go in supplies and equipment. All right, so what's another example? Um, in carpet cleaning, I have a friend that owns a carpet cleaning business. I used to own a carpet cleaning service that I sold. But we used to have these 360 fans. Um, and they help the carpet dry faster, all right? So in the, in the process that we had at that time was when we delivered the service, the team member had to wear booties um, all over their shoes. They had to do a pre-treatment. They had to, um, you know, then clean the carpet, use a deodorizer. And then when they were done, because it was a steam clean, they would put down a 360 fan to help the drying of the carpet happen faster. And so there's little circular fans, and they, they shoot out in the 360 degree, and they dry the carpet faster. It's really cool. Customers loved it. Um, it was something that was in our, our process to do. But it was a nice to have. It wasn't a required, a required piece of equipment to have. Therefore, it went in supplies and equipment on that on that uh, P&L. It wouldn't have gone in COGS, the cost of a fan. The fans can be used over multiple services anyway. You're not buying a new fan every month, right? Um, so that was an example of a supply and equipment that went into our operating expenses, not our COGS and materials as a carpet cleaning company. Um, my friend that runs that business today still uses those fans. So and that goes into supplies and equipment. Exterior cleaning. All right. What's an example of a, a nice to have versus a need to have an, an example of a piece of equipment that would go where? Um, if you have squeegees, you have to have a squeegee to do the job, right? 
but you're not buying them every day. Like they last long enough. You buy a squeegee, goes in supplies and equipment. So those are some examples of things that would go in your COGS uh, versus things that would go into your operating expenses. Um, so supplies and equipment, you know, this, what you're going to have as a range here is really going to depend on your business. So it's really unique. Um, I think at our, the size that we're at now, you know, we're going to have 23 trucks on the road in 2022. You know, we're budgeting for like 0.9% is what our goal or target is to spend on supplies and equipment this year. Um, so those are just things, you know, it could be up to, I, I remember times in the past where I've had it up to one and a half percent supplies and equipment, but it's because I didn't think I was categorizing things correctly. But today we've got a little bit more dialed in. So I would say like one and under, one and a half and under is probably where you want to be here. Um, but if you have questions, let us know. But that's a quick down and dirty on supplies and equipment. We'll see you on the next one. We're going to talk about rent and utilities together. Have a good day. Talk to you soon. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Fire Producers Podcast. If you found value in today's episode, we please ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel or consider leaving us a five-star review on your podcast outlet. Take care, everybody.